Hey guys, welcome to Artsy Fartsy Furniture in Distress. Today I'm going to show you how I make a one-of-a-kind jewelry tree out of salvaged architectural materials and vintage hardware. Let's get started. My name is Dorothy and I'm going to be showing you one of my original designs today. I'll be combining specific architectural elements with vintage hardware to make a one-of-a-kind jewelry tree. Let me know in the comments at the end of this video how you have repurposed salvage architecture and vintage hardware. This jewelry tree is loaded with lots of vintage details to make this a really special design. Each tree is different because all the elements need to complement and balance each other. I spend a lot of time sorting through the hardware to select pieces that are the right size and shape. These trees need to be stable, so it's important to have a symmetrical design, since this is going to be supporting the weight of lots of necklaces, earrings, and bracelets. The tree is made up of three different levels, the base, the trunk, and the top. I start with the base, which is usually a salvaged metal lamp base. You'll need to look for old lamps that you can salvage the base from. I like the really ornate ones from the old hurricane lamps, or they're also called Gone with the Wind lamps. Google it, you'll see what I mean. Then I need a wooden trunk. I prefer either a salvaged table leg or a turned wooden baluster. I can find these at architectural salvage yards or sometimes antique shops, but if you're desperate, you can find them at your local Lowe's or Home Depot. The top is almost always a pierced silver plate tray topped with a vintage doorknob, like this one, or a lamp finial, like this one. This level is designed to hold your earrings, so anything that has little tiny openings that you can hang your earrings on will work. This is a decorative lamp harp, or one of those Gone with the Wind lamps. It'll work for this tree design. I find all of these elements at antique shops, thrift stores, or architectural salvage yards. Next, I select my hooks and hardware that I'll be attaching to the wooden trunk. I use two to four hooks on the top and another two around the middle of the trunk for the shorter bracelets and necklaces. Deciding on what hardware to use and where to place it is really the hardest part. It's like putting a big puzzle together. Once you have all your hardware and levels selected, you just need to assemble your jewelry tree. Sometimes it's easy to drill into the wooden trunk and attach all the elements, but sometimes you have to do some problem solving to get everything attached and secure. Have some wood glue, a drill, and some hanger bolts on hand. Hanger bolts are double-sided threaded screws. One end goes into the wood, and the other end is a machine screw that you can secure with a hex nut. Once you have all your levels and hardware attached, you can paint this to tie it all together and make it look more like a finished piece. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you would like to see more of my repurposing projects, please subscribe to my channel and turn on the notifications. Please leave a comment about this video and let me know how you have repurposed vintage hardware and architectural salvage into something truly unique.